That's why the reason I believe in my property system has nothing to do with it being true or real. So if nobody owns anything, what stops me from just taking anything from you? Yeah, property rights exist, but they aren't real and aren't true. So what if what is your actual? You you want to be critiquing capitalism? Yeah, do you, but you agree do you that capitalism is not unjust. Okay, okay, do you disagree yeah, that saying. you own yourself? Do you disagree on that then? Clearly, clearly I do. So you and disagree it, that it, you own yourself? Then what is the justification that I cannot rape you right now? Yeah, please don't appeal to the majority here, okay? So anyway, oh, okay, fine. I, I guess you can be on the sidelines then, thinking that somebody can use your body however they want, but basically nobody <laughs> else agrees with that. The I sky is blue. Well, I'm not going to make any sort of claims here, buddy. Thanks. You're asking him to to agree with something, uh, or and and when he says you know he disagrees, uh, you assume the opposite. I assume that he disagrees. Uh, wow, he how dare I? You said you had subjective moral opinions, so you do have moral opinions. So can we go through some of those to see if we agree on some things? Okay, but no, no, because I don't, I don't want to waste my time here. If you fucking can see that Christ! Oh my these fucking things, God! I don't want to have, I, I don't, I, I don't want to have this debate. Okay, do you want to leave then? All right. Well, uh, that seems to be over. It um, looks like he, uh, he left. So uh... that's funny. So someone added you and said, "Anarchists and privatization don't go together," and you said they absolutely do. If you have public property, you need a public manager of that property. Um, and this manager is a ruler, making it not anarchy. And I said, can you warrant that? And then after that, uh, after that, you said, if you have no manager, it's not property at all. It's just nature. And then after that, I, I started critiquing that dichotomy you set up between having a manager and having no um, decision making at all. Yep. All right. Awesome. So you just want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. All right. So can you just outline, I guess, the reason behind like, why you deem it? It's either a manager or nothing at all. Uh, well, if you don't have any management over the property, you can't really say that it's owned at all. Because to own something, you, do, you need to have some sort of exclusive say over how it's used. And if, you, if there is no say at all over how it's used, then it's not property at all. It's just nature. Nobody gets to do anything with it. No, no, no. I 100% I agree we'll need some sort of management. But once again, the dichotomy set up is between manager and nothing. Manager implying either one person or a small group. I don't agree that I set up that dichotomy. Oh, let me, let me see really quick. I'm just going to look up the word dichotomy. I remember saying it. Yeah, 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 here it is right here. So you said, uh, if you don't have any manager for the item in question, nobody can find out how it's to be used. And then I said, you keep implying this dichotomy between manager and no decision making. And then you said it's a binary system. Yeah, no, if, so you, if you, you have that, that dichotomy exists, if you have zero manager at all, then it's not property. I didn't say you can't have multiple yeah, managers. So, Awesome. So let me just ask this question. Do you, is it, when you say manager, do you mean one person owning the property? It could be multiple. Awesome. So can it be a, a collective of people? Yep. So what is your, so what's the contention here? I'm saying that a, a, a property can be owned collectively without one person up top, and this can coincide with a lack of hierarchy. I'm saying uh, this uh, group control, this group management of uh, the property, that is not anarchistic. That would be, you'd Why? necessarily have some sort of ruler in that situation. Because if you have, that? unless you have literally every single person's value skills are exactly lined up, which they never are in reality, uh, you are necessarily going to have some people who are not getting what they want out of that property. They're not, the property is not being used for what they want to use it for. So you are necessarily going to have some other person or group who is imposing a certain use of that property onto them. So they are being ruled. So that is not anarchy. Because anarchy means no here's rulers. The thing. Yeah, here's the thing. I think as long as we have material scarcity, right, you're going to have some people who are part of the property using it, how other people don't want to. Like even if you have your 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 um system, right, where you have private ownership, you're going to have the private owners using it how the other people who participate in the um, property, how they don't want to use it, right? You're going to have that hierarchy anyway. Now, with my system, however, everybody gets a say, at least, in how this property will be used. Uh, well, uh, let's just take an example here. If we manage, we had uh, Crusoe and Friday on an island. Crusoe trades some fish for Friday's coconuts. I don't think you can really say either is ruling the other person, could you? Uh, no, but of course, we're talking in, in an economic sense of, like, uh, for example, workplace or means of production, um, how things are distributed, these type of things, right? If you're talking strictly between one person and one person, this doesn't even constitute an advanced market. This doesn't even constitute like a a, a boss sure, but relationship. This doesn't. I'm just getting like the principles. It's completely though. disanalogous to what we we're talking. I'm about just getting before. the principles. We're firms, we we're talking about property between different people. Like even in your situation, there's no actual scarcity occurring. I mean, I should I'm, say that. I should say. I'm, I'm just. So in, in your, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that that's analogous. 
I'm just trying to get okay, the principles so down. I'm just trying to get the principles down so that we can walk down the garden path to get to the end conclusion. Okay, well, that's the thing, though. If you bring up principles so of a disanalogous situation, would, it doesn't matter. Would you... Okay, are. you'll find out. It's gonna, it's gonna matter in a bit. So would you agree that neither Crusoe or Friday is the ruler in that situation? Uh, sure. There's, there's no well because there's no actual conflict. They're, they're not, they're not this. They, one person wants what the other, what the other person has. There's no actual conflict occurring, and nobody was coerced into the position. And would you agree that that is the same in every voluntary trade? Uh, every voluntary trade. Yeah. Uh, sure. And would you agree that a worker saying, "Hey, I'll work for you." If in exchange for that money you have, mm -hmm. that is voluntary, right? Uh, no, I, I believe that to be completely disanalogous to the first situation you outlined, and they don't constitute the same level of voluntary. Because, for example, if you have all means of production privately owned, you will have some people who will be structurally put into the position where they are never able to own means of production. So they have no actual um, way of actually trading anything other than their labor power. Well, that doesn't mean it's not voluntary. Well, that's, that, that's the exact thing. It's, it's different levels of voluntary. And when I say this, I mean what, what constitutes voluntary here mean, di mean different things. Are they consciously deciding to engage in the trade? Sure. But like in my system, however, people are still consciously deciding to engage in the democracy. Using your definition of voluntary here, <laughs> my system is voluntary as well. No, your system is not voluntary because it uh, expropriates wealth from the successful uh, towards the unsuccessful. And I don't know, okay, I don't awesome. understand. Who, yeah, yeah, so who forced these people to engage in the democracy? I imagine you're going to have some sort of expropriation if you're not an ANCAP. You're going to have somebody who is like, this is my property, and you're like, no, it's the, it's the collective's property. But in any case, uh, what? No. I need uh, to get through, no, no, no. what do you mean? Absurd. I what never, do you, I never what? made that claim. Okay, we'll get to that then. What do you mean by different levels of voluntary? Uh, yeah, the, for example, um, how the libertarian uses voluntary, um, they deny any sense of structural coercion. They deny any sense of systemic um, pushing agents into certain positions. So in your first situation, there was actually zero structure at play there. It was two people um, who engaged in no actual advanced market, who engaged in no structural positions, who just quite literally put the object into the other person's hand. In the other situation, you brought up an advanced market where people are structurally put into different levels of ownership, um, who necessitate different levels of trade. It's, it's, it's different. It constitutes different levels of voluntary um, if we're engaging in a structural analysis. But nonetheless, your constitution of voluntary here simply um, consenting to being a part of that system, that would maintain my system of democratic decision-making would be voluntary as well. Because nobody's forcing that person to engage in that democratic decision-making. Nobody's forcing that person to agree with the system. They can leave whenever they want, right? It's the same level of voluntary as your system. So to you, to, you to say, oh, your system's bad because it's not voluntary and then bring up wage labor, it's completely, oh, I think it's bad faith because your level of voluntary would apply to mine as well. Uh, so what's structural coercion? Structural coercion, yeah, the way that society is set up, uh, the way that the actors are um, made to position in relation to each other necessitates certain actions for this for the society to remain moving in a certain structure. Say, for example, a market economy. A market is a certain structure um, that necessitates actors engage with each other in certain ways. Um, and if you do want to engage in an economy where every everything is privately owned and material scarcity exists, this necessitates a class of people who will never be able to own property. Uh, so structural coercion is the way society is set up that necessitates a certain actions for it to move in a certain structure. Correct. I mean, that sounds just kind of unbelievably vague. What certain structure, you know, what, what actions. Let's just, yeah, you yeah, know, I just okay, gave you an example. could you give me like an algorithm that I could apply to any situation where I could tell who is being structurally oppressed and who is the structural oppressor? Of course not, but I think that's such an absurd thing to say. I think, first off, analyzing any society um, happens on a subjective level, and you have to warrant why your analysis is correct. I don't think algorithms can apply to qualitative action, right? And um, to do this, you'd have to engage in some sort of crazy, like, uh, I guess you could, if you really want to get to cybernetics, but I'm not well-read, but you could try and do that. People do try and do this. But the overall point here, and what's relevant to this right here, is that I've given an example of how the structural coercion exists to maintain the market economy, where there will be a class of people who will physically not be able to own any property. And this is necessitated by the certain structure of society. You've given an example, you say, oh, but it, you haven't, you've given yeah. an example, but you haven't given the principle. I want just a, a set of we instructions. I want a set of instructions I can apply to any situation where I can tell who is being structurally coerced and who is the structural uh, coercer. Uh, that's the exact thing. I don't like when we're talking about structural coercion. Individual agents are not doing coercion. You get that right? 
it's the structure as a whole that's necessitated. Sure, sure. Okay. Just like this. Sure. Like, just like, wait, time out. Just, just wait, time out. I just don't want to be strong into another position for a third time. Just like the structure is necessitating people to privately own uh, property, it necessitates the capitalist class. Um, it also necessitates the working class, right? So I'm not saying the capitalist class is coercing the working class because they're just fulfilling their part of the certain structure, but the structure necessitates. So if no individual is the structural coercer, then could you mm -hmm. justify any sort of uh, punishment on any individual then? Well, no, because individual coercion can still exist. I'm not saying that individual coercion doesn't exist. I don't know where you got that from. I didn't say that. Awesome. So if you understand that I also believe individual coercion exists, why would you ask such a silly question? Uh, I'm asking, can you possibly punish an individual for structural coercion if structural coercion is not an individual issue? No, you wouldn't be able to punish an individual for structural coercion. I don't want to. I want to would change you, the structure so nobody's coerced. Would you agree that seizing somebody's property is a punishment? I would question what makes this property theirs. Uh, they homesteaded it, or they traded it voluntarily. You know, just why like... Does homesteading, yeah, why does homesteading this, um, constitute um, rightful ownership? I'll just pipe that right back to you. What, how do you think property comes into being, if not through homesteading? Yeah, please don't answer a question with a question. I just did. Okay, well, if you're going to engage in bad faith the whole time, I don't really want to continue I'm, this. It's I don't really think I'm the one engaging you, in I, bad faith, yeah, mate. If I, yeah, if I ask you a question about this, your... everybody stop, stop, stop. If I wait, time out. if I ask him a question about his system and he just replies with a question about my system that I haven't even put forth, how are we going to get anywhere? Yeah, let's, because let's please try to. What I am saying is, homesteading is really the only reasonable way that property could possibly come into being. You can play the but why game all you want, but ultimately, okay, if you have, this, you have to explain if, to if, if this true. is going, please let him let him finish. If this is going to end up being intersubjective that you agree with homesteading, I want to know that. I want to know what your counter system is, so I know that it isn't intersubjective. So we're not just playing the but why game for a little bit of a, you know, online blood sports. Well, that's the exact thing. I question any sort of truth to any sort of property claim. Even public property claims. Yeah, I question what public means. So if nobody owns anything, what stops me from just taking anything from you? Well, it's not that, uh, again, certain structures will say that certain people own certain things, right? But I question how true this is that they actually own it. No, uh, even, even in your system, if you question the truth to any property claim at all, what stops me from going into your house and taking your shit? Yeah, so I'm going to say this once again. Please listen. You're applying, you're saying homesteading exists as an innate claim to property outside of any system. So even if communism exists, right, people, people are still able to homestead property and it's just a communist government or a communist system who is going against their homesteading abilities, right? You're saying this homesteading exists outside of the certain structure. I'm saying in different structures, different di um, property constitute, constitutes different things. And in every structure, I'll question how true this thing actually is. Even in my system, I would allow somebody to critique and I'd critique my own system saying how true it is. That's why the reason I believe in my property system has nothing to do with it being true or real, just my subjective wants and my subjective values. Right? You're saying this is an objective thing. Property is some objective thing that our system be built around. It's completely just analogous to my system and my values. So you can't even compare the two. So if property is all subjective, how could you possibly justify any action on anybody? Like any sort of punishment? Can you rephrase that? If property is all just subjective, I think I own the moon, right? If it's all just subjective like that, how could you possibly, even within your own head, justify, oh, I don't like what that guy's doing, so I'm going to, you know, punish him. I, well, I don't necessarily think that property is subjective, right? You just said property is subjective. No, no, no. I, I said it's relative to the structure. It's not relative to the subject. Uh, okay, so if we had an ANCAP structure, would you agree that Rothbardian property rights hold? You'd have to warrant how they hold. Because Rothbard doesn't say that. You said, so wait, wait, you said, you yeah, said they Rothbard. hold depending on the structure. And if we have an ANCAP exactly structure, thing. that necessitates Rothbardian property rights are being... You know, yeah, Roth, care about. Rothbard isn't saying. Yeah, Rothbard isn't saying property rights depend upon my system. I know he's he not, says, but you are, and I'm saying we're in an ANCAP I, I, system I, I, in this hypothetical, and you uh, say they depend on the system. So, in an ANCAP system, okay. would we have ANCAP property rights? Yeah, property rights exist, but they aren't real and aren't true. Just like right now, property rights exist, but they aren't real and aren't true. So, if they aren't real and they aren't true, how can you justify uh, uh, punishing somebody for going in and taking your stuff? Like, if I just walked into a room right now. Uh, took your, all your clothes off, took your toothbrush, did all that shit, and then walked out. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to punish yeah. me? What should I be? I don't. First off, I don't want to make a prescription about a certain law system. And would I be able to justify in any objective sense? No. And I believe it would be disingenuous for me to try to. I understand intuitively we are born into a certain ideological structure that that says that we've been conditioned to believe this is bad. But I still, if you cannot warrant how property is this objective thing and it's real, then 
I'm not going to be able to justify somebody coming into my house and wearing my clothes. Or, and no, 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 I'm not going to be able to justify punishing them for it. And you're automatically assuming I want to and that I should. So if there's no justification for punishment at all, is this not just might make right? Well, it's not necessarily. Well, again, I, I, I have a subjective framework that I follow and I will try to convince others to follow it as well. I would just question any objective system, any true system that is real outside of systems. And again, if it's a subjective framework, you're only saying, well, uh, I think I can do this and that because I feel like Correct. it. And then I'd say, Correct. well, I th feel like I can do different things. So how can we possibly intermingle these two things? You know, what, what could you, and you said there, if there's no justification for punishment and it's all subjective, then it mm -hmm. literally is just might makes right. No, not necessarily. Because once again, I, my, my subjective framework isn't everybody do anything that they want. But if you have fewer guns than me, then there's nothing you can do about it. And you say it's dependent on the system. Well, and if I have more guns, then I make the system. So then you yeah, necessarily have to agree right, uh, yeah, with me. No, I do agree that this is how property actually functions and how si like systems actually function. I agree. You're just warranting a sterner conception of property. That's all you're doing right now. You're going against yourself. You're saying, yeah, sure. Natural property is really whoever can own it, whoever has more control. I agree. This doesn't help you. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in your system, the way in, in your brain, this is how it works, that I have just ownership over something. System? What system have I prescribed? You just walked me through it right there. You said it's dependent on the system. That's how you determine what property people own. And if I have more guns, then I get to say who has the property of what. And property is necessarily just ownership over something. Ownership is where you, where you get to say what happens with it. So necessarily, you agree with Mike Makes Right. Yeah, I, my, so my system is any system. I haven't prescribed a system. I want to make that clear. I don't want to be forced into a position that I don't hold. Once again, I'm critiquing your position. I'm critiquing your supposed objective framework for how property works and how property rights work and some sort of transgression upon these things, right? And when you say, oh, yeah, okay, well, um, property, I guess, is actually whoever has the guns and who, who can ever actually control these things. I agree. That's what property actually is. That doesn't help your ANCAP system, who supposes some sort of objective framework for property. But you did prescribe a system. You said that it depends on whatever the societal structure is. Uh, that's who determines what the property is, and property is just ownership over something. No, I, it, first off, I was making a descriptive claim. I was analyzing how property works in society. And, I was describing that. And property, I prescribing that. and property ownership means you get the just say over how something is used. That's what property means. Yeah, uh, so you're, you're necessarily I, prescribing hey, wait, wait, the value. Tell me, tell me. It, no, not at all. Once again, if I'm saying that the value system is relative to the structure, this does not imply at all that I agree with this value system. I believe this value system is objective. I'm simply making a descriptive claim about how society functions. And in that descriptive claim, you're necessarily saying that it's just whoever has the most guns because you're saying that okay, they determine what the property yes. is. Yeah, if that's how you interpreted it, then I'll rephrase. I do not think that's objectively just. I do not believe in any objective moral framework. If there's no objective moral framework, then what stops me from just stabbing you? What stops you? Uh, yeah, morally speaking, is just you don't like it. Nothing. Uh, dude, you can bring up any situation you want. I'm not going to say it's objectively right or wrong. You can do anything. I'm not so gonna, if like you'd have, no, nothing, you'd have to critique my actual position, don't bring up like, anecdotal evidence. I'm just going to say it's not objectively. I'm right. not. I've, I, have, I am not even going to consider going towards an anecdote here. Uh, okay, you just did. I didn't. He said, "Okay, uh, if I said anecdotal, my bad. But any like example of action, it's not going to change the theoretics around it. You just said like what's stopping me from stopping you or whatever." Sure. So if you have if you have no sort of framework for what justness is, then you have. No, no leg to well, stand on when it comes to, you know, saying that capitalism is unjust or anything like that. Uh, I don't know when I've ever said this to you that capitalism is objectively or innately unjust. No, you didn't, so but like you, you seem to be implying okay, it. Awesome. So I just want to make it clear that you just try to push me into a position that I don't hold. All right. I'll say, so you and don't second. think capitalism is unjust. So what's your problem? Then, any, what's your tri critique of capitalism then? If it's not yeah, unjust. I'm not any, yeah, okay. I don't, I, again, I don't want to shift into a completely different debate. Can we stay on topic here? Uh, well, I asked you a question from the topic. It's branched out now. So, what if what is your actual? You you want to be critiquing capitalism? Yeah. Do you, but you agree do you that capitalism is that, not unjust? Yeah. Do you think? Do you you think agree that, that capitalism see, is not unjust? Yeah, you, is that yeah, correct that or the, incorrect? Yeah. Do you think that the environmental impacts of capitalism matter? Irrelevant right now. Well, no. I, I was just do, branching out from the topic. It's, it's do relevant. do it's you topic think that capitalism, capitalism is just or unjust? That, that's what you just told me. You just said that if it branches out from the topic, it's relevant. Buddy, you want, no, you want, it, to, you you want it to be critiquing capitalism this whole time. I'm giving you the option. If your critique, what well, is no, your critique of capitalism again, yeah, yeah. if you agree that capitalism is not unjust? 
I, I'm, I'm critiquing your your claims for why capitalism is okay. I'm critiquing. You agree that capitalism is not unjust. Correct or incorrect? I don't, believe it, I don't believe it's objectively just or unjust. How many times do I have to say this? I so it's not unjust. Objectively, no. <laughs> it's objectively not unjust. Okay, so how can you possibly what? critique wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. What's the problem with it if it's not objectively unjust? Okay, yeah, because... Dude, okay, I don't know. I don't know how people are still listening to this and not like... What, like, dude, I, I'm going to say this for the fifth time. Please listen. I don't, I don't say any moral claims are objectively right or wrong or objectively true or false. So just because I don't believe capitalism is objectively unjust does not necessarily mean at all that capitalism is objectively just. You're the one claiming that capitalism is objectively just, right? You're saying that this is objectively um, okay, and I'm critiquing that, and all you're doing is saying, oh, well, if it's not objectively just, then it's not objectively unjust. Okay, that's awesome. You haven't responded to any of my critiques of your property ethics. I mean, if you, think, if you think it's just, then I don't know what your critique you could have. Because it's almost like if I follow a, okay, I, I don't know. I don't know how to get it through to you, but we got into this VC talk about property, and we got into property ethics, and I was critiquing how objective these things are. For me to do this, I don't have to prescribe any objective moral system. I can just critique the consistency of yours because I'm not prescribing any moral system. That's what you did. Yeah, sure, but it doesn't matter how consistent it is. You agree that it's just. So, uh, you, how, you, you Wait, can... <laughs> whoa, whoa. dude. Okay, this is why I'm, I'm wondering. Are you actually in here in good faith? That's what I didn't want to happen. I mean, just say, justness I is the uh, I, justness is the opposite of unjustness. Uh, we, I think we can all agree on that. Uh, you, you, you're for you. I don't agree, with, dude. Okay, can you say my position back to me about morals? I, I, I do. You, I, I'm real. I, the only reason I'm getting aggravated here is because I said five times now. I don't believe it's objectively just or unjust. Sure. So, so if it's not unjust, it necessarily has to be just. It has to be one or the other. Dude, is it? I, I'm, I'm. I can't continue. Is this for real? Like, uh, I'm sorry. I, I have to step in for a moment. Um. I would prefer if you guys didn't claim each other's positions. If you, you have a position, please don't say that the person who's trying to explain to you something uh, is is wrong. Um, I mean, you can you can explain why their position is wrong, that but is, don't explain that is the what their position implication is if they're saying of what he said. Saying that you're wrong about. Dude, wait. If I don't believe in any objective moral claim, there's no truth value to any moral claim. Why does it follow that if capitalism isn't objectively unjust, then it's objectively just? If I don't yeah. believe in any objective framework, well, I've already uh, gone over yeah, that. Just, but justness I mean, relies on, but that's but that's from your opinion. Justice yeah. relies on morals, and so from your opinion, if there are objective morals, there is objective justness. He does not believe there's objective morals, therefore there's not. Objective I don't justice. believe there's objective morals either. Debate. I never claimed any sort of ob objective morality. You, you you were trying to do this with property when we first. I started. wasn't. I never claimed morality was objective. You weren't talking about. I'm not an objective. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, in any that's case, awesome. if like morality, if we have okay, this wait, system, if you understand, if, if you it's understand all just subjective, morality is wait, no, I, I just want to make this, I just want to make this clear. If you understand morality is not objective, then please do not force me into a position where I have to hold some sort of objective moral truth. I don't. I never to. force you into any such position. I, uh, I assert yeah. a legal okay, truth. I'm not, I'm not going to continue that argument, but I just hope everybody watching understands that you just did because you tried saying if there is I a distinction between legality and morality. I hope you understand that. I agree, and you're asking me a moral question about objective morality. I you did said, no such thing. You said you said you said verb, you said verbatim. If capitalism to you is not objectively unjust, then it is objectively just because that's the binary. You said that verbatim. Because mm -hmm. that's a legal question. Wait, what? You, objective, objective justice. Yep. Like, like, no, no, no. You you said to me like my subjective opinion, right? To to me, a subject is it objectively just? In a situation, just implies some sort of moral claim. No, it doesn't. It implies some sort of legal claim. Okay, legal claim? Yep, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with property this here, is... so we're dealing with law. Oh, okay, this is so disingenuous. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Like I said, I'm, okay, awesome. So from the moment, I was critiquing any objective property system. So I think you were, again, even if you want to hold this disingenuous outlook at the way the conversation went, that if I critique objective property systems, Sorry, if I was critiquing any objective property system and where property derives from, you were still forcing me into a system, into a position. Because once again, if I'm saying I agree that I'm forcing you into a position because it's the natural implication of what you're saying. Dude, okay, if I don't believe property has an objective metric, then when you ask me, and I, I, I'll just for argument's sake say, all right, it is a legal question about property. Is capitalism objectively just? If I don't believe uh, yes, property wise. Objective, 
Yeah, I know. If I don't believe there's any objective framework for property, I cannot call it just or unjust because both would imply some sort of objective metric for property and property rights. If you have if you have no metric for property, then you can't say anything is just or unjust. That's I I know. That's what I've been doing this whole time. I'm critiquing any So you that cannot any, you cannot say that any single action is unjust. So you cannot say I, what are you critiquing? I you keep you keep I what know are you you're critiquing saying, if it's not I'm unjust. I'm critiquing your position that holds some sort of objective property framework. I don't know what you don't understand. I'm a moral nihilist, first off, right? So I'm not going to make any objective moral claim. And I also question the validity of any objective property system. So with this, I'm not going to prescribe anything naturally because that would be disingenuous. I don't want to be disingenuous. I'm critiquing your objective system. Okay. Okay, <laughs> awesome. That should not have taken 10 minutes. So let's go back to it then. Homesteading, right? Mm -hmm. How does this object? How is this an objective metric for who should rightfully own property? Comes from the self-ownership axiom. From the self-ownership axiom? Yep. Okay, what is the self? Uh, the self uh, generally defined as like your body, your soul, what, uh, depends how you know, wishy-washy you want to get with it. Yeah, so when you say you own that, what do, what do you own it? Uh, ownership means you get the exclusive say over how it's used. But what's the you? This, I, me, right now. I get to, I get to say what, how my body is used. Okay, so you're owning your body? Yep. Okay, your body doesn't constitute your entire self. Do you agree? I'm not sure I would agree with that. I mean, so it's... when you say yourself, you're only talking about your body? It depends, uh, you know, how, again, how wishy-washy you want to get with it. You could say, like, it's soul. It's your, you know, it depends well, it, how... Again, I, you, can, you can make these vague claims to wishy-washiness, but these are important questions if your entire system relies <laughs> upon this axiom. So we got to dive into it. Yeah, sure. It's, it's you own yourself. You get to say how yourself is you, so nobody can come along, and you have, stab you. Yeah. Nobody can come along. And you, have, you know. and, you have com and you have complete ownership over the self? Yes. Does the unconscious exist? <clears throat> yes. Does the un is the unconscious part of yourself? Uh, well, the, that's a weird way of framing it. Uh, the unconscious is just your body in a different state. What? You're, you, no, 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 no. Sorry, when, you're, when you're, you're unconscious, uh, sorry, you're unconscious, you unconscious behaviors. Your unconsciousness is, is not your, your body in a different state. Is that what you're going down right now? No, no, no. When, when your mind is in a certain state of unconsciousness, your body will partake in unconscious behaviors. I agree with this, but I think saying that presuppose, like saying that's true, presupp, like not presupposes, but implies that the unconsciousness is a part of yourself. And if you hold that to be true, then you understand we don't actually have control over the, over the unconscious. And thus, if we don't have complete control over ourselves, then your entire ownership axiom falls. Like, uh, it's weird framing to say the unconsciousness is part of the self. It's just the self in a certain configuration. It's just, you know, your brain oh, is I, making I different see, ways. I see where we're mixing up here. Yeah, I see where we're mixing up here. All right. So I hold psychologically that the unconscious is a part of your mind, right? Would you agree with that? What do you mean by a part? Yeah, so we have a con we have the conscious part of our mind, and the conscious part of our mind are the things that we're like the uh, part of our mind that has conscious thoughts, right? So that's the conscious part of our mind, the things that we control, the things that we can think about, our recognition of self. That's conscious behavior, and the conscious behavior derives from the conscious part of the mind. Now, there's also an unconscious, right? And this unconscious constitutes, um, I don't know. Say, for example, like uh, you go out in public and you look at a tree, and a memory instantaneously pops up in your mind, right? That memory was stored in your unconscious. It was stored in the unconscious because you were not consciously able to get that memory and look at that memory before seeing that tree. So that memory was stored somewhere in your mind and that memory was stored in the unconscious, right? So that part of your mind, the unconscious exists. Sure. And since we don't have complete control over our unconscious and our unconscious is also part of ourself, it is not correct to say we have complete control but over again, ourselves. You're taking a psychological framework, like, you know, like, modeling as their conscious and unconscious are two separate things but really it's the same stuff just making two different brainwave patterns okay awesome yeah yeah so they're both okay awesome so they're both a part of the mind right and if you agree that the unconscious is a part of the mind i don't even have to say that they're like different areas or different sections i would say yes consciousness the conscious part uh not part but the conscious um area and the unconscious quote-unquote area because these are immaterial things per se these areas of the mind well i just want to make it clear for anyone watching this who's getting into psych um the areas of the conscious and unconscious are still being debated like where these things exist in the mind still being debated but just for conversation's sake um let's say they don't have areas let's say they're just immaterial parts um, there's a conscious part of your mind and an unconscious part of your mind. And the fact that you understand they're both a part of their mind, and we also don't have control over the unconscious, shows us that we don't actually have complete control over our mind. And you understand that the mind is a part of ourselves, so it necessarily follows that we don't have complete control over ourselves. Well, you have legal control. Nobody is allowed to tell you you're not allowed to control it. 
Like okay, it's, I, uh, this okay, is, this okay, is, wait, wait, okay, I need to explain what I mean by control here. I'm not saying okay. that you own yourself because you're allowed to, because you're able to fly. I'm saying you'd be allowed to fly if you're physically capable. Of it. You're not physically capable of it, but you'd be allowed to. You have exclusive say over how your property is used. That's ownership. I, uh, yeah, you just said it yourself. Exclusive control. So yes or no, the self-ownership axiom exists outside of any legal ownership system. It's a simple descriptive claim over how the body and mind work. Well, that's how you get the legal system. I agree. I agree. That's how you get the legal system. And I'm critiquing the um, the way, you, like, not the legal system itself, but as you just showed us, the legal system is different than the self-ownership axiom. So what I've been doing so far is critiquing the self-ownership axiom. And if I'm able to critique the self-ownership axiom and you cannot actually provide any contention with my critiques and necessarily follows that the legal system is also not true. It is not real. It is not just. It is not um, objective. It's an odd and framing I to say... Just there, I mean, not just in the libertarians. It's, it's an odd framing to say that it's separate from the legal system when it's how we derive the legal system. Okay, you're right. You're right. It's not completely separate. I agree. But but one, uh, the legal system follows the axiom, correct? Yes. So if I show that the axiom is incorrect, then legal system must be incorrect as well, right? Yep. Awesome. So, can you offer any critique of my critique of the axiom? That you don't actually that you're not able to like fly or control your unconscious. Yeah, that you don't have complete control over yourself. Yeah, no, it's it's that's not what we were meaning by. We're, that's not what we're meaning by it. We're not saying you are physically able to do anything you want. We're saying you are rightfully able to do that. You're, well, you just you are rightfully able to control your own body. Nobody's allowed to tell you you're not allowed to no. move your arm or breathe. Nobody's allowed to tell you that. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just gonna like I'm just so I don't get mad. I'm gonna assume like you are still engaging in good faith, but you just agreed with me that the legal system follows the axiom, right? So if this legal system followed the axiom, that means that the rights, like what you're allowed to do, what the government protects, or whatever you want to call it, like the REAs protect, they protect these rights, they protect your abilities. That follows from the axiom. The axiom necessarily exists outside of any legal system, right? So I'm critiquing the axiom. And when I critique this axiom, you cannot come around and say, all right, well, the legal system protects the axiom. That doesn't I'm make sense. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm simply defining what I mean by control and ownership. Okay, I know, but what you're doing is you're saying control is when you have complete control over it. Legally. I did. Right. I'm saying it's it's when you're allowed to do it. It's like when you, you know, okay. it's and, it's like you say, uh, nobody's when, allowed to when stop you. Say allow, nobody's allowed to stop know, but, you. But it, yeah, is that not a legal system allowing it's, someone? Yeah, allowing. that's why I'm that's why I'm saying it's a weird framing to try and make it so the axiom separate from the legal system. When in reality, but they're you, like you, the same you, thing. I'm not trying to. It, will you define what no. is just? By okay. the self ownership okay. axiom. Okay. So you might, yeah, yeah, you might be using self ownership completely differently. But here's the weird thing, and here's why I believe you might be engaging in bad faith. It's because two things: you agree that the legal system follows from the axiom, right? And then you also agree that self ownership is a descriptive claim around how um, how we control our body, how we control our mind. And when I asked you about this, you said, "Yeah, our self is our soul, our body, our mind, all of that." So beforehand, when I asked you what self ownership is, you were not talking about a way for setting up a state or a or a society or a certain relation of property, you're just explaining the descriptive claims that the self that self ownership makes. And when I asked you what is self ownership, you said, Yeah, yeah, it's when we control ourselves. We're able to control ourselves. We're able to control our soul. Our I, mind, I, sh I should be clear. It's when you, when it's when you that, own yourself. Yeah. It's when you own yourself. When you Okay. And ownership so okay. means you get the complete say over how something is used. Okay, awesome. So when I say com okay, so that was kind of circular because I just said yeah, it's about complete control. And then you said, no, it's about complete ownership, which means complete say. Complete say, same thing as complete control. Well, I mean, not really, because you keep like saying like you can't actually control your unconscious, so we seem to be having mm -hmm. different definitions of what control means. What I'm saying is, it's when you... Because you included you, the mind when you get, something that we control. It's when you get to say how that thing is used. That's ownership. Okay, and is our mind not a part of ourself? Yes, you get to say how your mind is used. Okay, I just want to hear that one more time. One, is yeah. our mind a part of ourself? Yes, you get to say how your mind is used. Nobody else can okay. tell you how your is mind the, is used. Is the un, is the I, oh my god, but whoa, 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 but your mind does these things. I know that. I know that. A tornado is not an aggressor when it destroys your home. That is irrelevant. That's just I a know. natural fact. Because I know Let, that's the road you're going to Let's not do any mocking voices, please. Just kind of yeah. try to keep it simple. Ah, yeah, sure. He's not been doing yeah. any mocking. I, 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 I'm aware that it's been happening. I know it's been both sides. I'm not jumping in against you, Zulu. I'm just please trying to say, let, let's keep it civil. He, he, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Here's the, here's the thing, Zulu. 
I'm not, the difference is this is how it's disanalogous. Nobody's saying that the tornado is a part of your body or a part of something you can control. It's not a part of the axiom. You're, you're, you are saying that the mind is a part of something that we can control. Okay, let's change the tornado for cancer. Okay, once again, the cancer... Okay. Not a bad oh, example. Yeah. Is it, is, are, are you born, wait, are you born with the cancer? No, it just kind of develops. Okay, so it is still disanalogous because that cancer is not a part of yourself. It why, does, why does it matter whether you're born with it or not? Yeah, because with the unconsciousness, okay, because you're saying with self-ownership, right, that implies that everything that falls under what you control, you will be able to control. Um, See, this, 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 is, why I, I this is why I, this is why I rephrased yeah, yeah, I better, to have the no, say no, over a, how it's yeah, used. Yeah, I, I know. I have a better, I have a better phrasing. Self-ownership would show us that, descriptively, we control ourselves if there is no outside aggressor, if there's no outside coercion. And I'm not saying nature is coercive here. I, I, I'll follow the libertarian ethic to critique it. You're saying you can control ourselves if we don't have any, like, state or if we have no coercer, right? Yep. Okay, so, if, and then also, P2, is it P2? It might be, I haven't used these, like, the synthesis or whatever you call it in a while. But P2, the unconscious exists whether there's a coercer or not. It exists a part of the mind. So, P3, if we do control our mind, it necessarily follows that if there is no outside coercer, we should be able to control everything within the mind. So conclusion, if we cannot control the unconscious, which is a part of our mind, we can't actually control our mind. Again, this is, this is why I moved away from the word control. I just said I you say. get the say over how it's used. Okay, so and how, do, your how, how do we get this? Your unconsciousness okay. is just like a different brainwave. It's just okay, wait, in, okay. like in a different um, state. Yeah, yeah. Let's use, let's use that too. Let's use, um, you get a say over how it's used. So let's look at that tree example, right? When you go outside and you look at that tree and the memory instantly comes into your mind, did you have conscious control, conscious say over how the mind was used in that situation? You had a say over how it was used, but just the, the it's like, that is the natural thing. That is the tornado there. That is the cancer. Okay, it's all just, you're proving right now is that... Natural. All you're proving, yeah, all you're, okay, yeah, okay, all you're proving so right now is that... It's not an outside aggressor. Natural. It's not an outside aggressor. I'm not, wait, what am I, dude, all you're saying right now is that... It is natural that we cannot actually control our mind. That's not helping you. I'm saying, if you go outside... This is why I moved away from the word control. Okay, say, okay, say. If you go outside and the, the, um, the memory instantly comes into your mind, did you have a say over that happening? It's No, you didn't have a say over that, but that's just a natural formation, just as you don't have a say over how your blood is moving. But okay, that, say what I'm saying that. is, the say, as you said before in like your premise 2 or something, that it's uh, from outside aggressors. That's when you don't have a. That's when your say is overwritten. You are saying that you're no, not. You are saying that you're not going to view nature as an aggressor. But right now, you're yeah, viewing nature as an aggressor. It's a representation of my premise. My premise was simply describing what self ownership is supposed to describe. It's supposed to say that if there is no aggressors, we have com we have complete say over what constitutes self. Hence, self ownership. Right. And they also hold that the mind is a part of yourself. So it follows that you have complete say over your mind. That's what self-ownership is supposed to show us. Yes, you do have complete say over your mind. Nobody else is allowed to tell you how to use your mind. It's not it's, about nobody else. It's, it's not about nobody your else. Your unconscious you. isn't I, a different person. I'm not saying the unconscious is. I'm saying the very formation of the mind makes it so you don't actually have say over it. And you, that means that self-ownership is You do. I'm meaning like an interpersonal say. I'm not talking about fucking how your blood moves in your brain. I know you don't get to decide how that happens. I'm talking about a say in the interpersonal sense. You get to say what other people are allowed to do. Okay, first off, self-ownership isn't making an ought claim. It's describing... I didn't make certain... any ought claims. Dude, you just... You, you said, you said self-ownership... said what they're allowed to do. That's just an is. They are not allowed to do that. Okay, implied, and here's a normative framework. Because, for example, uh, I'm just going to critique how you just represented self-ownership. I'm going to LARP as like an ANCAP who's trying to teach you self-ownership. Self-ownership is supposed to describe what we uh, have a say over, right? And uh, say, for example, we have say over our bodies. You're saying right now that, all right, well, since we don't, we, we, we might not have say over our minds, but whatever, there's no outside aggressor. And what we're saying is, it is an is claim that you have control over X if there's no outside aggressor, right? Yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah, that's an is claim. That's, you're not making an ought. It's okay. Okay. Within the axiom. I know, I know, I know. I, no, I agree, and I agree. And then the question is, what is the mind to you? It's just a part of yourself. Okay, well, what differentiates the mind from the arm? That's not very specific, very vague. <laughs> they are located in different parts of the body. They have different functions. 
I, I, I mean, okay. Just to get somewhere with this conversation, I have to know what you think the mind is. Because you say we have say over. But what is that? Yeah. Like, what does the mind do? What do we have say over? And your mind is generally like uh, made for uh, coming up with heuristics on how the world works and uh, using those, applying those heuristics to make sure that you stay alive and can reproduce. Okay. Uh, but what is the, like, but what, what is the, like, what are some functions, right, that you have say over with your mind? That's just like consequences of these functions. I'm not saying you have a say over what the functions are it does. I'm saying you have a say over what other people are allowed to do to it. What? Okay, that, that's why that's, that's why I mean that's, that's why with, wait, wait. that's why I mean that's by having a say over it. Self, self, no, no, when, that's not what self ownership. When I have, self, if, self or, if I okay, wait, wait, listen self, here. Self ownership if I have a say, okay. if I own a tree, I have a say over how that tree is used. I don't have a say over where the leaves grow or anything like that. Obviously not. That's just the tree doing its own thing. But I do have a say over whether you're allowed to come and chop it down. Okay. Once. Okay. So what you're kind of implying here is that okay. Yes or no? Self ownership exists even if it's one person on an island. Yes, but you're but then you're also saying that self ownership is only about not allowing someone else to do something. Uh, yeah, and so nobody you, else could do anything to you if there was nobody else okay, on the okay, island. Also, if you're the it, yeah yeah, but if you're the only, okay, but you're saying it's a prerequisite that there's someone else that you have to defend against because that no, I'm saying I'm saying self ownership means that's you a, get to say how other people can use it, whether those other people are not. You, okay, but okay, let's say for example, there's only one person in the world, right? Other people don't exist. They're not they. That hypothetically, other people do not exist, yep. right? They don't exist. They're not real. Is self ownership still true? Yep. As long as that one person accepts the axiom. Okay. So this shows us then that this that that self ownership is about what is that one person able to do with their own self? No, it's they. It's, they it's, it's, if there's nobody else, you're still allowed to tell that nobody else what they're allowed to do with you. <laughs> okay. Wait. I. I feel you're just misrepresenting. I, I I read like self ownership ethics. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna look it up so we get self ownership, also known as sovereignty of the individual, is the concept of property in one's own person. Expresses the moral or natural right of a person. So this is saying that in self ownership, the concept of property is in one's own person. You have yep. say over yourself. Okay, awesome. So if you, okay, I don't know, I don't know how else to phrase this for you, but if you do have say over yourself, right? If nobody else, okay, if nobody else is aggressing upon you, you have say over yourself, right? Yeah, you're allowed to tell other people that they're not allowed to aggress. You're allowed to, if somebody, that's, 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 that's what it means. Is saying. You, you, no, you keep, it you, is. Okay, you, you, dude, I, like, I don't know how to continue this conversation when you just misrepresent self ownership and what self ownership is showing. You're using a, you're, you're quite literally, I thought we were talking, I thought we weren't going to insist what the other person's position was. It, well, no, it's when you, it, well, didn't you get you really mad about that? that? When, when, you, when you use words that conventionally describe certain types of things, then you completely change the definition. I'm not completely maximum. changing the definition, I promise you that. That's what ownership means. It means you get to say how it's okay. used. Okay, you said you, you said you read Rothbard, right? Yep. Okay, Rothbard says, I, not verbatim, I don't remember specific quotes, but Rothbard says that outside of society, the individual controls themselves. Uh, control in what context? Was he talking about like Crusoe economics where he can like, you know, move his body and stuff? He has it. I would. I don't want to answer for him, but the, I. I assume you agree with how he um, shows self to be your body, your mind, these types of things. Um, I mean, you agreed to that before. I'm not sure that I did. Uh, we didn't go over. I, think, I asked you what the self was, and you said you said your body, your soul, these types of things, and I said, and your mind, and you said yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the way he goes over, I've not like particularly well read okay, on it. Like I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just talk about you again. Okay. Let's yeah. Talk about you again. Let's do that. Does the individual have say over themselves? Yes. Okay. And does what is a part of this self that the individual controls? Uh, is your mind, your body, yada yada yada. Okay. So if you have say over your mind, right, that means that you have a say over what it does. N no, you have a say over how other people may use it. Okay. Okay. You're, you're, okay. You're, you're missing the step. You're saying we have a say over how other people use our mind because we have ownership over our mind, correct? Yep. Why do we have ownership over our mind? It's axiomatic. Why? Axiomatic. It's the base level. Axiom. No, I know, but can you, can you warrant this axiom? Uh, there's no other sensical one. I mean, I've never found anybody who thinks that they don't get to say how their body is used. If you I, I, think I, that, then yeah, sure. I, I quite, but I think that's probably dude, intersubjective. There's so many... Okay, I'm just going to let you know right now, the, like, every modern psychologist would reject any notion that we have say over our mind. 
Just so you know. I, the, in your de- you keep changing the definition of say back to your fucking definition. That's why I mean that no, you get to say, you get worry. you get to say how yeah, other people what they're allowed to do to your mind. Yeah, because I don't think there's any you, psychologist yeah, who would reject that. Yeah, no psychologist yeah, is anti consent. Yeah, because because if we're using your definition of say, it's a circular reasoning, right? It's if not. you're saying all right, okay, I'm gonna explain how it is. Because you're saying that say is when you are able to tell someone else what not to do with it. And we're able to do this because we have ownership over it. And we have ownership over it because we're able to tell other people what, what they are not allowed to it's, do with it. It's, it's axiomatic. Certain. The axiom is, you can say what other people are allowed to do to yourself. That's what ownership is. It's not because okay, you so, have ownership over it. Okay. It's just it's that so, is ownership. It's the axiom. Okay. It's the root level. This question. I'm not inferring it okay, from I'll ownership. Question, All right. I'll ask this question then. If it's someone who cannot communicate, do they still own themselves? If you cannot communicate your will, then you're a latent self owner. You're what? A latent self owner. A lazy? Latent. What does that mean? It's uh you are not yet expressing you're not currently expressing your will, but you might at some point in the future you physically have the capability does to that, do it. Does that person still own themselves? Uh well you're not yeah, in a way. You're not allowed to... Yes or, you're, yes or no. Yes or in no. a way, I was about to explain it. You are about... You are not allowed to specifically damage that property. Uh, but like, you know... You, you, okay. you aren't a blind... They're, they aren't able to actually like express it. Right? There's a whole paper on this. I can send it to you. Oh, okay. I, no, I, I know. But well, I'm, I, I, I'm critiquing it. I'm saying... Alright, you're still assuming though that this is property. Right? Yes. Why is it property? Because we axiomatically agree that one owns themselves. Okay, okay, Do you disagree that you own yourself? Do you disagree on that, then? Clearly. Clearly I do. So you disagree that you own yourself. Then what is the justification that I cannot rape you right now? Because I don't use ownership ethics to go against that. Uh, you didn't explain anyway, what anyway. you didn't explain why I can't rape you okay. right now. Yeah, because I'm okay. First off, I'm not going to make any normative claims. As I said, okay, can we? And then you, and and then you run away and, from and it. And you say you disagree with it. You say you disagree with it. Then you run away from it. We're we're in a public stage right now. Please don't. I am aware. Sort of we're on a public comparison. stage. You can. There's a bunch of comparisons you could use. You could say murder. You know, let's but rape is far more effective. Uh, it's also far more damning in terms of getting people banned on this platform, so I would recommend against it. But, yeah, just use murder. Murder's fine. Okay, like I'm going to say, I'm not going to make... I have a subjective framework that I'm not going to try and warrant the objective validity of. That's what you have to do, because I'm not saying that my system is objective. I'm not saying but that you it's did, true. But you did say that you disagree with me intersubjectively. That's what I'm trying to build here. I'm trying to build intersubjective axioms. I didn't know that I, anybody I, thought I, that I, they're I allowed to be yes, you know, used in any which way. I disagree with self So if somebody can use you in any which way they want, you don't get a say. Well, no, I can try and stop them. I'm talking, I'm not talking about, like, practicality. I'm not talking about whether you're able to. I'm talking about justness. Do you really think it's, there's is nothing justice, wrong with wait, somebody justice, using it, your body in any which way they want? Zulu? Can you, can you tell me my moral position back to me? All subjective, yada yada yada. Don't care about morals right go. now. Alright, hold on, hold on, let's, let's come see Sybil, come on. But, but Kato, I keep trying to, or Kato, I, I don't know, but I keep trying to tell him, like, I don't believe in any objective yeah. moral claim. I, I'm, I'm aware, not I'm, not, I'm not, I'm just I am not making a moral claim. And we have to. I am not making okay. a moral claim. <laughs> you just said it's not about your ability, it's about the justness, and, and here you're using justness as, a, as, as morality. Yes, because basically everybody accepts that they get to say how their body is used. That's just intersubjectively okay, held. Yeah, please don't appeal to majority here, okay? So anyway, oh, okay, fine. I, I guess you can be on the sidelines then, thinking that somebody can use your body however they want, but basically nobody <laughs> else agrees with that. It's, okay, I'm, uh, I don't believe in moral truths, my guy. I don't, it's not like, okay, for example, if someone says it's, it's morally okay for me to use someone's body how I want, I would critique that as well. I don't think that's objectively moral either. Do you think somebody's sense? allowed to use their body? Do you think you get a say over how your body is used? The say, I should say. Wait, wait, say that one more time. Do you think you get the say over how your body is used? Um, the say? The say. Do you think you just get the final say on how your body is used? Uh, no, I don't have, I don't, I don't have the final say over how my body is used, no. Most of it is actually unconscious. Yeah, it's got, it's got to go back to nature again. I mean interpersonally. I've explained this before. Do you think you okay, get so the say a, over a, how a, other yeah, people a, are allowed in, to use your body? Yeah, so in a social context? Yeah. 
uh, once again, though, I do not get to say. My unconscious usually does. No, no. In a social context, do you think that, you, that as we agreed, the unconscious is part of the self? Do you think uh -huh. you, as a person, are allowed to say how other people are allowed to use your body? Okay, just because you say the unconscious is part of the self doesn't doesn't warrant at all your question. Because once again, when we say self ownership, it implies that some sort of self, some sort of individual, has control over over your mind, right? So it's not the mind controlling the mind, or necessarily it's not the mind controlling the body, or yada yada. It's some sort of out, it's some sort of individual. It's the self. So no, I don't think it's like in a social context. Um, I don't think it's me having a final say over myself, and I don't think it's somebody else. Usually, I think it's mostly my unconscious. Okay, can I talk to your unconscious right now, then, Mister Unconscious? Do you get a say over how your body is used? Dude, you're sued. You can't. You you can't talk to. Are you genuinely asking my unconscious that? I you fucking keep de deflecting onto nature as if that's like any sort of point. I'm asking, do you get to say how your body is used? Do you agree with that or not? <laughs> I'm gonna rephrase this because this has gone on like five times. A political. He's asking if uh, somebody else has any input as to how your body can be used. If somebody else should have any legal input into no, how I, yeah, you not, use I your don't. body. It's about it's about an art claim, right? Should someone? Oh my fucking god! Do you agree with it or not? Just I, I need to know this. Is it an art claim about should someone be able to? Do you I know think, you're mad. I know, do I know, you I know, think I know you're somebody's adamant. allowed to use your body how they want? Not whether, you know, uh, whether you need, there needs to be some moral imperative to follow it. Yeah, wait. You know, can we just okay, agree so on that? Ask your question one more time. Sure, let's phrase it as not claim. Doesn't matter particularly. Do you agree with it? Agree with what? No, just what is it? Agree with what? That you, do you think that you get the say over how your body is used? Oh, but the unconscious gets to use it. No, I don't care about that. Wait, do you wait, think like, you get like, to say how other people are allowed to use your body? It, like naturally or like is this like are you Can saying help. like okay are you are I, are you saying this are you saying that when people come together is this a descriptive claim when people come together the self has control over their body i'm asking you a question and you responded with a question you got very mad at that earlier do you I'm think not, I, that what? other people or you get the say on how to uh, use your body i don't i, I reject that dichotomy for all okay, the reasons well, those are the only two possibilities it's either you get the say or other people get the say. Okay, so there is no third possibility. Dude, you have an issue with like he's talking about it, right? And with that, he's ignoring your unconscious, please. Yeah, but I I don't understand how we can just ignore this because when if if we recognize it as existence and we rec if we recognize its existence and its importance, then the entire um, prerequisite to self ownership falls. If, so, if, but if we again, both if, agree if, on it, time, I just want to my it. point is, I, I, if we I, both I, I agree on it, then we can no, I, derive I, stuff from it. So I, I, we need to know oh, if we know, both but, agree but, on it. But we obviously and you're not we don't, answering. We don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so you think other people get to say on how your body is used? Is this? What do you like? You said it, we don't agree on it. So do you think other people get to say on how your body is used? Yes or no? Is it? Well, he's trying to talk. Let him talk. Is is this is this like a thing about like when people come together, other people control me, or should other people be able to control me? Which should uh, should you? other people I, be allowed to control you? Not whether they are. Well, so it's a moral claim. I'm not going to make fucking hell. I judgment. accepted your moral framing of it earlier. I said fine. Let's frame it as an ought. Don't care about okay, that right now. Okay, I care if, if you agree it an, with it. Okay. It, it, yeah. If we're going to frame it as an ought, then it's ob then there's no objective truth or oh not my fucking it, god I, I just care about intersubjective at the moment I, i'm not going to try and nail you on any sort of objective make, stuff yeah, no, right I'm now not gonna, I'm, yeah i'm not going to make an art claim jesus fucking christ so you are not you're not willing to make even the claim that you are allowed to use your own body it's disingenuous dude it's disingenuous for me to do so you, you, because if i do, you, if you can't agree wait, on that wait, i don't I, know I, what i, I could wait, possibly get you I, to agree on the I, sky I, is I blue well i'm not going to make any sort of claims here buddy Oh my god! Holy, yo, He's gonna okay, get very mad at that one. one. And you know why? Because saying the sky is blue is a descriptive claim. Fucking Making an claim is a normative claim. Dude, dude, it's just Do like, you think I we should kill about. every single person apart from you? <laughs> I, I just want Can you we agree understand. on that at least? Okay, I, I just, I, I, if you post this video, I want your viewers to understand this. I'm a moral nihilist, right? And if you look up what moral nihilism is right now, read that, and then come back and you'll understand why it would be disingenuous for me to make an art claim that we're going to derive a system from. I don't care be what your favorite little I, system I, is. Do you agree I, that, you sh <laughs> that we should not kill every other person except for you? Do you agree with that? It's, 
Can we get some sort of intersubjectively agreed thing? I'm not going to make a moral claim, Don. Jesus like, Christ. You're asking him... You, uh, let's stop, let's Can stop, let's stop. Can you not agree stop. on anything? You're asking him to to agree with something, uh, or and, and when he says, you know, he disagrees, uh, you assume the opposite. I oh, assume that he disagrees. Uh, wow, looking, how dare I? He's, he's... Well, there's very... It's very grey, and you're looking at everything from a very binary system, apolitical, though. you you got to... Uh, let, okay. Let's tone it down a little bit. I, Take I agree. It easy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys need a, a drink, a break. You guys. No, wanna... no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I just don't like this analogous things and shit like that. But okay, here's how I'm gonna phrase it. Zula, right? If I deny any, I, like I believe morals are fake. I believe they're fiction. I believe a moral claim is the same thing as going to the library, getting a fiction book, opening it up, and reading the words in it. I think it's fiction. I think it's fantasy. So if I believe this, I would believe it to be completely disingenuous for me to make a moral claim to you and derive a system from it. So can you just so not agree on ask me, anything? Morally speaking, well, no, we, well, we can, no, yeah, we can agree probably. on that. Can, did, were you about to say that? No, no, we, no, no, we can agree on certain moral claims. Like, for example, okay, great, moral, that's all I care about right no, now. No. Yeah, the only moral claim that we can agree on is that morals aren't real; they aren't true. And we shouldn't okay, derive from them. But then, if that's not true, then you're, it's like saying that truth isn't true. But is it true that truth isn't true? Yes, it's true that that truth isn't true. But is that it's it's self contradictory? I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but I, I just don't know how any of what you just said is relevant. Me, you saying truth you're is You're saying is not morality same. is not true, and no, you're no. saying we can agree yes. morally speaking that morality isn't true, but then what does, it, what does that mean? What does that mean to say that we can agree morally that morality isn't yeah. true? I'm sorry for laughing. That is sorry entirely self-destructive. Do you not see that? Okay, maybe from a utility perspective, it may be self-destructive, but I just want to find the truth. I want to find if morals are real or not, all right? If, if me finding out morals aren't real makes me sad and it makes me angry and it makes me scream and it makes me upset and it makes me, you know, clap my hands and run into a tree, I don't care. It's real. It's true. That's what I believe in. You Again, to I didn't now, propose also, objective when morality. Made, when you made... <laughs> when you made the... Just now, when you made... I just want to get this clear. When you made the analogy just now between me saying morals aren't true and then that's the an analogous to saying truth isn't true. You are implying that morals are true. You get that right? No, 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 I'm not doing that. I am saying that in order to say truth isn't true, you have to say that it's true. In order for you to I'm say that mor morally speaking, it's correct that morals don't exist. You're saying it's morally correct that morals don't exist. So you're assuming morality. There. <laughs> what? That's what it means to correct. say that we can agree on something morally. You're saying that it's morally I correct. I haven't made an art claim. Jesus fucking Christ, claim. man. You said that we can agree on that moral statement. <laughs> and uh, we can, oh, wait, no, by no. the way. The, <laughs> well, first off, first off, if we, okay, I get what you're saying. If we agree that more, like us agreeing that morals aren't objective, that's not making a moral claim inherently. You get that, right? It's simply a descriptive claim that we agree on something. It's not making a claim about whether that agreement is morally good or bad, right? Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. So we can agree on something. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and, and well, if we agree on something, it's not warrant morality being true. You get that, right? Sure. But I'm just, so do you okay, have awesome. no moral positions whatsoever at all? Well, I hold subjective ones, right? But okay, once again, great. Hold, you hold subjective moral opinions. Uh, whoa, whoa, can whoa, we whoa, whoa, see whoa. which of those we agree on so we can get some sort of intersubjectivity going through? That's what I mean by intersubjectivity, where we both subjectively hold a moral know, position and we can agree. I understand. Here's the issue. When you come into this VC and you talk about self-ownership and you talk about property ethics, these are things that are supposedly innate to man. These are things that are supposedly true and real. Like property I'm not trying to prove that claim right now. I just want to know, I know wait, whether no, no, you wait, agree I know, with I know, it subjectively. Know, wait, I know, no, I know. I know right now you're not trying to prove it, but for the last, what is it, four o'clock already? For the last like 40 minutes you were. So I, I, I wasn't. I I've, I've, I've said right from the beginning, I just want to get something intersubjective no, I know, down. I know. Yeah, but, but you said you, you say one thing and then you try and warrant another and it's kind of annoying. You say, like, I don't want to try and warrant any objective morality, any truth, and then you bring up homesteading and you bring up self-ownership. Two theories. And then, that and, then, and then I ceded to you the ground. I said, okay, let's view this awesome. morality-wise. Okay. Let's see, view it as an ought. Let's say this is, I, I'm not going into argumentation ethics with you right now, okay? I'm saying let's just view this as an ought. Can we, you said you had subjective moral opinions. So you do have moral opinions. So can we go through some of those to see if we agree on some things? Okay, but no, no, because I don't, I don't want to waste my time here. If you Fucking can see that Christ! Your isn't, I mean, we can talk about this later if you want, but I came in here for a specific debate, and if you can see that your system isn't objective, it isn't real, property rights don't exist, property isn't real, all We need to figure out if we agree on it or not, though. Because if there's guys, no contention, guys, there's no contention. 
Please, what? this, this, I, I just have to say something to both of you. It's not directed at either one of you. Uh, you. You disagree on a metaphysical level and are attempting to like base your arguments off of your beliefs about metaphysics. And like, you know, you're using like argumentative assumptions that your opponent holds those same beliefs. Uh, this has been circular for like an hour and everyone in the chat is saying, and this is getting fucking agree, annoying. I if you agree, aren't going to get anywhere, just move on to a second topic. Like, I, I really no, no, but I think it's disingenuous for you to like group me in with that because I have not once put <laughs> them into a position. Fucking hell. Uh, just, just, I am, just, I am not making not, any, not touch that. I am Don't not making that. any assumptions about you, mate. I am asking okay. what you agree on and you refuse no. to answer. But, but I, uh, there have been uh, false dichotomies from this perspective of a second metaphysical uh, uh, I, I'm not so assuming have, any morality here. I am asking about the, his morality. Yeah, so can you the, answer one, if I, whether or not you agree that you get the say over how your body is used? Yes or no? Very easy question, I would think. Like, okay, can you just... Sh okay, it's not do you, it's should you, right? Fuck it, fine. Should you? It's not yes or no. It's not, oh it's not. Oh my fucking Christ. I don't know, dude, I... You okay, Kato, you get this right. I don't hold objective morality. I don't want to make a You said you point. do hold okay, name one moral position you hold. You said you hold some earlier, so name one of them. No, because in, in a Jesus debate talking about systems, Christ. Can you dude, I can't even do anything? You're all angry. My god. What? Okay, name a dude, single okay. moral position you hold. Let's try and get okay. something going. Okay, here. here's the issue. Okay, if we go back in the clip, I remember telling you that I'm gonna stray away from making prescriptions and I'm just gonna critique the things that you said in the chat. And you're like, yeah, oh, and, yeah, and I possible. said I'm going to try and build something under subjective here. Because if we agree, okay, no, you, if it turns just, out that, that we actually, yeah. if it turns out we actually agree, there is no contention, therefore there is no debate to be had. So can we get Zulu, to some, uh, to a single one of your positions no, to find out no, if we actually agree? That, not, yeah, now that I know that home, that you agree that homesteading, property ethics, and um, self-ownership isn't real, it isn't true, you just subjectively want oh these things, fucking God. I don't want to have, I, I don't, I, I don't want to have this debate. Okay, do you want to leave then? Okay. I'm, you gotta just change yeah, the topic and move on, please. There's no, a bunch but, of other things yeah, to you, talk you, about. You just, hold the, you just hold these things out of a want, out of a subjective desire, right? And that's uh, that's not correct. Talk, I but. think they're objective. But I said, let's just see no, that ground no, right now. Okay, okay. So let's just okay, say that I'm or not. I'm sorry for getting a mad moderator. I'm sorry for getting a mad moderator. I'm sorry for getting a mad moderator. But if, I don't want to don't don't pin you in argumentation ethics right now. Okay. I don't okay, want to do that. Because it would just it would devolve even more if we went into argumentation ethics. Okay. Uh, okay, awesome. But if you hold those things to be objective, when I critique the objectivity of them, you cannot get then turn around and say no. I don't think these are objective. I think. But if I, we I agree, if subjective. we agree, there is no contention. Dude, if we wait, agree on them. Do we do we Modern, agree on sorry, them or not? Said, Thirty seconds ago, you just said they are objective. I so yes, I agree them. that they're. I think they're objective. But I'm not going to pin you on argumentation ethics right now. That's what I said. You want to go into fucking argumentation ethics? It'll be very fucking boring. All right, guys. If if we're gonna if we're gonna keep doing this, you know, I'm I'm gonna have to shut it down. But like, you you're you're going in circles. You're not getting anywhere for the past yeah, hour. So please either change the topic or or wrap. Uh, it we up. can go on to no, democracy if you want. I watched your Here's fucking thing with ML or whatever. You were talking about demo dem democratic ownership. Do you want to talk about that? No, no, because because what you've done this whole time, you've been bad faith, disingenuous, and you're pseudo. I have not been bad faith. You came into this thing bad faith, mate. And I have the proof. All right. Well, uh, that seems to be over. It um, looks like he uh, he left. So uh... that's funny. <laughs> well, he, cool. he, he, well, he 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 came into this thing insulting me, and he he was like, um, "Dude, you're being bad faith right now." This this has been a, a very complicated debate. Uh, it does seem to be over, though. Um, I, I don't think that it would be right to. Uh, to, I guess, you know, wrap up if, if one person isn't really available to offer the wrap up. I, I know it was his choice to leave, but um, we're, we're just going to end it here. Does that sound good to everybody? Yeah. That was a shit show and a half, so. Um, that one was fun. Bye bye, apolitical. Very funny stuff.